If you've encountered this HDCP error screen, or this purple error screen, while attempting to stream on your Roku player, don't worry, we can help. If you were previously able to stream content on your Roku player, and now are seeing the HDCP error screen, the problem can, in most cases, be resolved by resetting the connection through your HDMI cable. This is also a good first thing to try if this is your first time using your player and you're seeing the air screen. To re-establish the connection over your HDMI cable, unplug the HDMI cable that connects your Roku player to your TV. Be sure to unplug the cable from both devices it's plugged into. If you have something connected between your Roku player and TV, like an AV receiver or HDMI switch, unplug any HDMI cables between your Roku player and TV from that and apply the following steps to it as well. Next, turn off and unplug the power cables to your Roku player and TV. Reconnect the HDMI cable to both devices, making sure each connector is attached firmly and securely. Plug the power cords back in and turn on your TV. Once your TV and Roku player have finished powering up, try viewing the content again. If that didn't work for you, or this is your first time you've used your Roku player, meaning it wasn't previously streaming without issue, here are some things you can try that may resolve or at least pinpoint your issue. Try using different display settings on your Roku player. You can find these settings under the Settings menu, and then under Display Type. Try a different HDMI input on your TV, AV receiver, or soundbar. Try using a different HDMI cable, preferably one that's less than 6 feet long. If this solves the problem, then your original cable may be damaged or defective. In order to watch streamed content, it's necessary that any device your Roku player connects to supports HDCP. If your player is connected directly to a TV or monitor, try a different TV preferably one that is known to support HDCP. Computer monitors in particular often don't support it. If the new TV you hooked up works, it probably means your original TV or monitor doesn't support HDCP. If you are using an HDMI switch, AV receiver, or soundbar, try connecting your Roku player directly to your TV. If this works, then consult the manufacturer's documentation for your switch or receiver or soundbar for information about HDCP compatibility. If you can't swap out the device your Roku player is connected to, ensure that your TV and or AV receiver or soundbar supports HDCP by reviewing the online documentation for your device on the manufacturer's website. If you need any further help, please visit support.roku.com.